So seeing eye floaters can be very bothersome, and you may know them as those drifting little spots or cobwebs in your vision. And in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing some new research on a natural eye floaters remedy. Let's take a look. Hello and welcome, this is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn all about the eyes, vision, and finding the best vision products. So if you're new here to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And today I'm reviewing some new research on a natural cure for eye floaters. And no, I am not just holding on to this pineapple just for fun, there's actually a reason for it, and we'll get to that soon. Also, if you actually want to read the research yourself, I'll include a link to the article, along with some extra eye health tip educational videos and resources in the description below. So chances are, if you're watching this video, you have already experienced eye floaters in some form. You know them as those little drifting spots in your vision, and they can be really annoying for some people. For some people, they are just tiny little black or white spots that drift across your vision when looking at something like a computer screen, or maybe when you're going outside and looking up at, at a gray sky or something like that, you might see those little drifting spots. For other people, they look like giant cobwebs, and for some people who've actually developed what is called a posterior vitreous detachment, or a PVD, then these little floaters can actually be quite large and very bothersome and can even obstruct vision. Now I'm not gonna go too much into exactly what these floaters are. I have covered that in other videos and I'll include a link to the entire video playlist about floaters up here in the YouTube card up above as well as in the description below if you wanna go back and check that out. Now floaters are so extremely common, it's rare that I'll ever have a day in the eye clinic where I won't see a floater or at least discuss floaters in some fashion. Historically, we haven't really had good ways to get rid of floaters other than what's called a vitrectomy where we remove the gel inside the eye, a YAG laser vitreolysis where we can actually use a laser to zap away the floaters inside the eye, or the ever famous just waiting and monitoring and hoping the floaters resolve on their own. And yes, for most people, after they first start experiencing floaters, they do usually neuroadapt and just kind of get used to these floaters in their eyes. But I have actually had a lot of people ask me if there was some form of a natural cure for floaters, whether it could be a supplement they could take or something they could change in their diet to actually help these floaters resolve. And honestly, I have never really had a good answer for this until more recently, there's a cool study I wanna share. In April of 2019, a pilot study was published in the Journal of American science describing the pharmacological vitriolysis of vitreous floaters with a three-month supplement of pineapple. Yum. But wait, pineapple? Well, the whole idea of this study was based on that pineapple actually has a protease or enzyme called bromelain. And if you're an author of this study or you think you know a lot about this substance, then please go ahead and comment in the section below because I'm not exactly sure how to say this correctly. But bromelain is supposed to be an enzyme that is believed to help really dissolve the aggregating collagen that creates these floaters inside the vitreous gel inside the eye in the first place. So in this research, what do they do and what do they find out? In this study, they took 388 participants and separated them into two different branches of the study. I do want to point out that 388 individuals in this study is a pretty small sample size. In really large-scale studies that a lot of medical real facts and treatment is based off of are from large-scale repeatable studies. But for this one, at least they did do a really good job vetting which participants were in the study. These were actually individuals who actually had to have a dilated eye exam. They observed that they had at least had one or multiple different floaters. These individuals developed these floaters and had been stable for at least six months and they didn't develop them due to trauma or surgery and they didn't have any other real serious medical issues such as diabetes, high blood pressure, or some form of uveitis or inflammation in their eye. Not only did they record the presence of floaters through a dilated eye exam with an eye care professional, but they actually measured them objectively with a B-scan ultrasound of the eye, as well as with an ocular coherence tomographer or an OCT, which actually allows us to actually physically see the separation of the vitreous interface from the retina inside the eye. It's pretty cool. Now remember, there are two branches to this study. In the first branch, they actually took 190 people and they separated them into two individual groups. 120 of these people only had one single floater inside the eye, while the other 70 participants had at least multiple or at least two different floaters inside the eyes. Then they took these two groups and they actually fed them slices of pineapple. And the pineapple had to be measured out to be about 100 to 120 grams of pineapple. And they actually fed them two slices 
every single day after lunch for 90 days. And so after three months, they then actually measured where all the floaters were, and these were the results. They actually found significant improvement in both groups. This first group with only one floater, about 120 people, that actually decreased to only 35 individuals with floaters after the three months. And then in the group with multiple floaters, actually went from about 70 individual cases down to only about 19 cases. Honestly, I think that's pretty incredible. Now get this, because I find this part to be very interesting. In the second branch of the study, they actually took 198 individuals, uh, really about 66 people, into three different groups. First group was only a low amount of pineapple, where they served them just one slice of pineapple a day. This medium group of pineapple eaters, which was two slices of pineapple a day. And then a large amount of pineapple served, which was three slices of pineapple a day. Again, 66 people in each one of these groups. The No real count of how many floaters they had, at least one. Again, each slice of pineapple was about 100 to 120 grams, and they served them every single day for three months. And the results were as follows. In the first group, with people only taking one slice of pineapple a day for three months, after the three-month period, they actually had a 55% improvement. So 55% of the cases of those 66 individuals actually had improvement in their floaters. The people who were taking two slices of pineapple a day had about a two-thirds of cases improve, and the people taking three slices of pineapple a day, 75% of the cases of those 66 individuals actually had improvement. And what's special about this branch of the study is that it showed that it was dose dependent, meaning that individuals who were being treated with more pineapple actually ultimately had better resolution of their floaters. Now, certainly the study was not perfect. Even the authors have addressed some of the faults in their own study. I know when I was reading the study, I actually had some questions about some of the math that they did. Overall, I do find that their actual methods, as well as their intro and discussion section of the actual study was very informative. And again, if you were really sciencey or you just want to know more about this stuff, I again have included that link in the description below. Now wait, before you start running off to the grocery store and start loading your cart full of loads and loads of pineapples, there's a few safety things we really should talk about. Now remember this whole study was really about testing whether pineapple and the enzyme bromelain, which is inside the pineapple, actually helps reduce floaters. But it's important to remember that bromelain has never been actually proven to be effective at treating any disease and has not been approved by the US FDA for treatment of any sort of disorder. Now if you read the research, they actually did address that bromelain is available in a powder, cream, and tablet form. However, for this study, they specifically used pineapple and they cut it horizontally because because bromelain is actually included more in the stem as well as the flesh of the pineapple. Now, I'm not sure if you've ever eaten pineapple before, but most of the time, whenever I see pineapple made, the core is usually not eaten. In fact, it's usually sliced off and removed. But here in the study, they said to cut it horizontally, which honestly, I have no idea what that means if I'm cutting it this way, or am I supposed to be cutting it this way? I'm not really sure. Also, 100 grams. Forgive me for being from the US, but usually people don't have any way to measure actual grams in the kitchen unless they're maybe a pharmacist, or perhaps you do because you're just a big fan of the Great British Baking Competition. Either way, I actually did measure it out. About 100 grams is equal to about a half a cup of pineapple. But hey, if you actually have any tips for me on how to cut a pineapple, go ahead and comment in the section below. Let me know because I need some help. If you think you're somebody who's going to go out now and eat lots of pineapple every day, do keep in mind that some people are allergic to bromelain and pineapple in general, certainly something you don't want to be doing all the time. Time. I do also believe that pineapple is very acidic and can actually affect your taste buds as well as other problems with your gums and teeth. Also keep in mind if you are diabetic or very sensitive to high sugared foods, pineapple has a lot of sugar in it and that's actually one of the reasons why in the study they limited the maximum amount of pineapple to be eaten was only three pieces a day. But again, the study was not perfect. I do hope, however, that this opens up more avenues for potential research with more participants, and that maybe we'll at one point have a medication or at least some sort of actual cure for floaters from Mother Nature. So I have the question of the day. Have you ever noticed if your floaters actually improved somehow? Do you think it was just due to random chance or was it something in your diet? Go ahead and comment and connect in the section below. Hey, thanks for watching. If you got value out of this video in any way, hit that like button for me, share it with a friend. Otherwise, keep an eye on it. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.